up, buddy? Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Hey, everybody. I'm joined with Marky Mark over here from Hero Mod. So it's our first guest of the show. He's popping our cherry, which I'm super excited about. There you go. But before we get into a lot of that stuff, we'll talk about our giveaway real fast. So we get 2,500 subs. Somebody's going to take home 500 rounds of Brass Case Winchester 115 grain. So just like, follow, subscribe. And then if you don't mind, leave a like and a comment because it helps the algorithms. Sure does. Which seems like, I don't know, some deep state stuff with some of these things with YouTube and gun industry shit. But we won't get too far down that rabbit hole. That's right. Like, follow, subscribe for a chance to win 500 rounds of brass. Yeah, it's it's got to be gold soon. It's a good deal, I know. If you go back and look at our, our video from, I don't know, a month ago of what's happening with the ammo market, it's nuts. That was a great video. I watched the whole thing. Thank you. Um, yeah. We're trying, man. We're trying. Trying to find that sweet spot. You got some generous information in that for people. Yeah, I understand there. <laughs> yeah. You really did. Uh, we try to be transparent. So. so why don't you tell us who the hell you are? And why you're here? Uh, my name is Mark. Uh, I'm just a normal dude, honestly, like everyone else in this <laughs> yeah, world, right? That's true. We've known each other a long time. So we've known each other a long time. Uh, so for any of you guys that watch, Zach has done. He's like a guardian angel for me. I don't know about that. People don't. He doesn't say that, but he's been a guardian angel uh, during uh, shutdowns in the past in the U.S. He was making sure you know I was still able to kind of work on videos I was producing, uh, get ammo that I needed and stuff because he he believed in me and what I was doing. 100%. And uh, the information I was trying to get out. So he's, of all the people in my life, he's on the list of all the guardian angels that have looked over me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, so. No, he's very knowledgeable. Don't let him lie. People, no. No, <laughs> people sleep on this guy. He's way smarter than you could imagine. No, you got to play dumb, man. <laughs> that way people don't expect too much out of you. Yeah. Um, we'll get into probably the video later, other things I do. But uh, I am local to Zach, which just worked out coincidentally. Uh, he has believed in me. Um, I have a local business here. Uh, you just hit my 20 year. Yeah, so it's it insane. 20 years. Yep. So you're you're the owner of Empire Tattoo. That's correct. And you're not, on, not only is he a manufacturer in the Second Amendment space now, he's also, and I'll say it, I've seen you shoot. He's a world class carbine shooter and a world class tattoo artist. This dude does not stop, and he's just good at everything he touches, and it pisses me off because I'm just jealous. Now, if I could just master pistols, I'm getting there. I'm trying. That, uh, that's my niche, and I'm being very humbled right now by the guys at Monsoon. Vinny is just destroying us right now. He's so good. I definitely want to come down and try, because I'll run a stock G19, you know, and see what I can do. Yeah. Production class, so. Those guys are running staccatos, and they're from, like, I don't give Zach enough credit either for Monsoon. Vinny's right hand man. Like, Vinny is amazing. Zach is very, very good, too. So those guys are, are humbling Andrew and I and making us better shooters in the process, which is super cool. But you got to be around better people to get better. A hundred percent. I don't mind getting my ass waxed every once in a while to get better. Yep, take ego, get gone. Yeah. Uh, keep your competitive nature and try to outdo them. Once you outdo the better shooter, they're in turn going to try to outdo you, and everybody just elevates, basically. It's how it works. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool how it works. And so it's been that way since the dawn of time. Yeah. So... Mentioned that you are in the firearm space now. You know, you've been a shooter a long time. You're prior army. So, been a shooter a long time. And you came up with a new mousetrap. So, you have a channel on YouTube, uh, which is, I think, some of the best content on YouTube, barring any type of genre. Your creativity and your way to summarize to the layman how optics work is next level. I mean, it is the shit that uh, optics companies, I mean, you're sitting down and talking to these guys, the higher ups at Trigicon, things like that, because you know your shit and you're able to explain it at a layman level to a lot of people out there. So why don't you talk about your channel a little bit and I'll tag it down here at the bottom so you guys can go follow Mark too. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> the power of editing. Add the animation. Yeah. yeah. But uh, talk about your channel a little bit, what you're doing. Um, basically my channel, We everybody knows there was some shutdowns and my business unfortunately was one of the ones that took the big hit. Uh, we were basically going to lose our license if we were caught operating. There was literally nothing we can do. And uh, you're like me, where you have no off switch. Yeah. I am a highly productive guy. Boredom is my enemy. I can't do it. So sit around, and I'm like, you know what? I shoot a lot. I like shooting a lot. And then, you know, there's some concepts that, uh, in my mind, I felt like I could animate for the American public. Some of the videos were going to be aimed towards Army and Marines to make them better and just help all of our guys in uniform. And then uh, I realized, well, why just give it to them? Why not give it to the citizens just as well? Everybody deserves it. Yeah. Never mentioned the citizen. I'm just, yeah. I, I mean, they gave us MREs, they gave us uniforms, so yep. I'll give back to the people as well. Well, I realized you can't forget about the little guy. 
make what you wish you had when you had got into the business or an instructional or anything that you wish you had had to save you time and money. And then, um, because I was so bored, I, I made a few and a lot of people don't know, uh, Zach was so good about making sure his employees here at Buckeye knew their stuff, their optics, zeroing, everything. We had actually, he allowed me to make some videos and give him some just yeah. to make sure his employees knew what they were talking about, which a lot of companies don't do. Yeah, we use them as training tools because far be it for me, it's a it's an audio aid because you're narrating the whole time. It's a visual aid too because you're showing the animations of how the show works and it just it resonates with folks a lot better than sitting up there death by PowerPoint to try to teach about glass. Because I can tell you firsthand, in, in this industry, it's way easier to go on the internet and find information about a Glock 19 and be able to talk intelligently on that than it is about glass. Glass is like the 800-pound gorilla that nobody wants to really touch because there's so many different facets to it, especially when you start talking about the different types of glass, You know, yeah. whether you're talking about diopters and prisms and things like that. And it's like, those are buzzwords, but what do they actually mean and how they apply? So your videos are perfect for a training tool. And uh, are they still on your YouTube channel? Yep, everything's all, uh, not those ones. I'll re-release sections of them later. Okay. But, uh, they were amateur and I was learning the software. I, you know, I'm self-taught on almost everything. Yeah. So I get that. Yeah. YouTube University, baby. <laughs> well, I actually didn't use too many tools. I usually play with the software tools until I figure oh. out what something does through trial and error. And then uh, now with those old ones, you know, everybody looks back at their old work and doesn't like it. So, um, yeah, like I, half of these videos. Yeah. And it, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you got to find your way and then you'll find out, you know, what not your style is. I'm not looking for a style. I'm just being me. I mean, my videos are basically whatever's in here. It's just being pulled out and put into a video form. And it doesn't hurt that you're a really creative dude. Mm -hmm. well, the stuff you're doing, the tattoo world stuff. I mean, people can check out your Instagram and stuff for your other, for your other job, your real job of tattooing and see that Jesus Christ, you're a creative guy. So dude, I have juices flow, man. I pop out so many ideas now that I drive. I, not only will I write them down or text them to myself, but sometimes I'll literally pull out my voice recorder and re-remind myself ideas that are so good because I know I'll forget them. Yeah. When do you sleep, dude? Uh, uh, man, barely. Between tattoo and, I don't know, 10, 12 hours a day, although you you took a hiatus right now where you're working on some of this stuff, but, I mean, tattooing all day long, six, seven days a week on top of, we we did the math the other day. It was like, you're 20 years in the studio, but you're actually like 30 working. I could press 30 years into 15. Yeah, that's insane. I'm past the retirement, basically, yeah. but right before I meet, I'm 39. You yeah. know, I'm not 40 yet, so I was like, I did a 65-year-old's career Yeah, in a short amount of time. But you, the good news about not sleeping is that when I want to go to sleep, I'm out. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm sure. Instantly. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I wish I could be like that. Shannon's like that. I can't. I'm sitting there, and my mind's still running for hours, so it's pretty wild. Yeah. But uh, other than that, yeah, the videos, you know, I want to give something to the people, um, good information. They can do what they want with it. Um, the animations are great. I, I have probably like a hundred times more stuff that I just don't have the time to get out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, you know, there's only 24 hours of the day. Yeah. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to squeeze the 25th and 26th hour out, but uh, you let me know if you find it, I'll vice versa. Yeah. And you know, like, I mean, everything I do, I buy. So yeah. I'm in here buying ammo from you. Every optic yeah. I'm buying, I got to come in here sometimes and wait just like everyone else to get an optic. I still don't have an RMR HD. Up yeah, on. it's because we took we had two come in and we gave them to local law enforcement first for duty use. Yeah, which they they're the ones that the guys that protect us. So make sure they're hooked up first, and then we we work through the the celebrity list after yep. that. Yeah, if you are a YouTube celebrity at this point, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, buying stuff like every video, I'm going into the negatives. Oh know? yeah. And luckily, I want to see the optic myself, so I'm yeah. most likely going to get it. But why not share that with other people? That's like all this stuff, man. That Like, that ammo down there, I bought I, for the giveaway stuff just to help grow the channel and stuff. It's You put a lot of money into it. It's a growing in business, but running a YouTube channel is a business. Like, yeah. You have to treat it as such. You can't just sit there. If you want your channel to grow at, at a, a decent rate, at least when I'm finding out, because I'm literally at the, the infancy of this. Yeah. We just crossed 1,000 subscribers. But when we first started this channel, we had like 200. So we're five, four hundred percent growth in the last two months, which I think is pretty good. I'm um, happy with the trend lines, everything else I'm seeing, but you've got to put money into this stuff. And it's like, you know, I own the company with a couple other people and you get a, you get a vote on, Hey, are you willing to spend some money to, to put into this? And you get a no. It's like, what are you going to do? I'm going to fund it myself. Yep. So we're just going to figure it out. So everybody out there, if, uh, if you watch any of his videos, you're going to see him just absolutely destroy an ACOG, and which you did, did you buy that ACOG from me? Uh, not that one. Uh, no. You, you have you bought a lot of ACOGs from, but 
that so you would think that it's like being given this shit i can tell you with a thousand percent certainty that that is not the case because i'm damn near have his credit card off file here so <laughs> to be fair that acog still works i know. didn't really lose money no it, i still have it yeah you still have it and then a pinch i guess it could work but it's it's fucked up it's yeah <laughs> it will work as long as it's not raining or there's any smoke around it yeah <laughs> no kidding yeah well so Throughout trials and tribulations, going through some of the optic stuff, you you kind of had a happy accident, right? So you're a big ACOG guy. I think anybody who knows you knows that. If they see, uh, I'll decide to use them with like knots, but they see any of your stuff, you have, I don't even want to discuss how many rifles you have with ACOGs mounted to them, but you're a big ACOG guy. And Primary Arms comes along and it drops a prismatic, micro prismatic, mm-hmm. that is dubbed the mini ACOG or the poor man's ACOG. And they did it a 1X, a 3X, and then uh, after about a year, they dropped the 5X. Yep. And you start playing around with that. and The micro 5X, yeah. Yeah, you want to talk about that a little bit? Because we have a product here on the table, which is a company that you created out of necessity. And I want you to talk very briefly on the 5X, what your opinions of that are. Because there's a whole video you have on this, which is amazing, and you should check it out. Uh, but you wanted a top dot mount to be able to use with that to have something for a red dot and what was provided from primary arms is just it's not a good product i mean that's pretty evident in the video so you made a better mouse trap yeah there's actually like a trend in my videos what's weird is i went to nram i didn't know the 5x existed the micro i'm looking at the table i'm like what the heck is this and i like prisms yeah i also didn't want anything less magnification since i run top dots i want more magnification i saw this i'm like it's lighter it's smaller there's a lot of cool things instantly I just noticed. So I was like, why did I get one? Well, they didn't have it in stock. Yeah. So I waited. I get one. Um, I ordered. They didn't have a kill flash ready for it. They did have the side mount. I ordered that immediately. And then um, because I was genuinely curious about this optic. So like I said, I buy everything I put, make a video on. Well, you, especially when you see a, a micro prismatic that's that size, that weight, and it's a third the price of an ACOG. Yeah. There's a lot of bonuses to it. And then I want to see what's made up. So we get it. And uh, we had to wait on the top mount. It took a little while. And then... Um, you know, I'm super unbiased when I start with stuff, but I was genuinely curious about this optic. I still run it. I still like it. I still run it on the weekends against LPBO, you know, competitors. So uh, we run it. It kind of bends. I realized I was like, well, they probably sold a lot of these. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there. If they're buying a budget optic, they most likely, some people still live paycheck to paycheck. Could be a dad, you know, and he snuck a little bit of the money. Oh, yeah. He didn't tell wife about, bought the optic. None of us have ever done that before. Yeah. <laughs> bought them out. So uh, what it, the way this turned out, is we made a one-off at a machine shop for me so I could run it and uh, because I actually enjoyed the optic. And then, uh, you know, I felt bad. If you look at the trend of my channel, I mean, like, as you get older and progress as an adult, you become more selfless mm-hmm. than selfish. Yeah, selfish perfect. is usually a child nature. You know, you bring everything to them and they, they consume it. Yeah. We're the ones producing it and giving, so we're the selfless ones. Well, I was like, well, why am I keeping this to myself? And then you know, I thought of all the people that may need this and that the optic combined with this is actually really good. So uh, I had to pull some strings. I had to twist my buddy's arm, you know, yeah. a friend of mine. And I was like, dude, come on. We have the capability to do it. We have to do it in between job shop orders. It's a lot of work, you know. And uh, if oh, anybody, a lot of late hours, I'm sure. Tons of late hours. Four in the morning, I'm stretching him thin. I'm stretching my relationship thin. Uh, all the material startup, like instantly going like 20 grand deep out of pocket on the so, And, you know, I hand, if anybody orders these, my handwork went into these. These are sandblasted by yours truly. You know, this is all the material being loaded in was loaded by me. Obviously, my friend's programming and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, he's the real CNC expert. And then uh, from putting them together, the Loctite, the packaging, the stickers, all logos, everything, I'm literally staying up late designing every single piece that someone would get with this. And then and, it's just such a better mousetrap. Yeah, it's cool. Like I said, it's not really offense to them. I think the optic's great. The side mount's still great. I tested it. I still run the side mount. It's still good. This is just like the missing puzzle piece that it needed. Now that this is out and then uh, people can get these, um, they're going to love the optic even more. Yeah. So what this does, is it gives you a piggyback on top of the primary arms. It replaces their factory one. And you have an entire video going into this 5X Prismatic. And then you also have where you're deeply covering this compared to the factory top dot mount. Which, this there's no question. This is just a superior product. It's just a better mousetrap. And most importantly, it's made in America, made in America. by an American. Yeah, we love to take care of people, you know. Yeah. So right now, footprint that it's in. It's only going to be in the RMR, uh, basically the Trishpon RMR footprint, which will 
I don't know. You probably know more because you run a business. Holosun too. Yeah, I'll cover a few of the Holosun models, 507s, yep. you think. 407, 507 for sure. Yep. Which is how much percentage of the market, you think? Cool. Uh, a gun to my head, 30, 40% of the market. Okay. Because the biggest, biggest footprint after that. Oh, no. As far as RMR footprint goes, yeah. 70% of the market. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like Holosun 407, 507, 507 cells. I'm like, of, of red dots that are sold, I bet you 40% of the market is 407 or 507. Flip a coin, pick one. Yeah. They, they're they a great optic. And it's the poor man's RMR SRO. It doesn't have the window of an SRO, but it's if people don't have the money for an RMR, it'd be a 500, 600 bucks. A $229 407C that's solar powered, battery backup, uh, two MOA dot, quarter MOA adjustments, RMR footprint. Yeah, sweet. Well, we chose this for a couple of reasons. One, I try to build what I will personally use. Yeah. If you ever came to the range where I am, you will see me running something that I believe in. I run a lot of Trudicon products. Yeah. But also at the same point, we got 70% of the market. And then secondly, it'll cover, like you said, people that can't afford an RMR right now or an SRO, mm -hmm. they can get the hollow sun for it. Yeah. And then it won't break the bank. So after this, we do have requests for MPS footprints, uh, the doctor footprints for some of those Delta Point Pros footprint. Yeah, if you're going to do another footprint, Delta Point Pro, just because of uh, Romeo 1, Delta Point, obviously, and the E-Flex. Yep. We'll do a small run of those and stuff. We know there's not going to be as many of them, but, you know, I try to look out for the little guy. Nice thing is, it's a, it's a plate on the top. So you have set screws that are in there that are locked tighter into the ring itself. They're so suitable. you have the ability to, to, it doesn't exist yet, but. Yep. We plan to have it. They can order directly for the footprint with ring, but later the way we did it, you can. You can take this off and then there'll be plate options because. If you're like me, I own multiple footprints myself. Yeah. I might later want to change that to another option yeah. just for my own, you know. Yeah. The ADH. No, if they off button, yeah. they will move some stuff around. Though I get that, man. So you essentially saw a, a gap in the market, created a better mousetrap for it, and they are live and available now, right? Euromod.com. Yep. You can go there and uh, they're in stock. And then uh, we still have some extra plates and rings we can basically assemble and get them together if we start running low for now no it's awesome but yeah. we're, we're actually shifting some other things which i can't talk about there we go. have a lot of cool ideas i mean the whole idea of the company is like uh how many people sit at home and say i wish they would make this i wish they would make a p10 trigger that was better than a <laughs> okay we all have a i wish somebody would do this <laughs> yeah if you know me anytime if i have a complaint i try to always offer a solution i try not to cry about anything unless i can do something about it or at least try my best to do something about it so in this case i like the optic and i'm like well i'm not going to just knock that top mount unless i can do something about it and then uh there's some other things i think people will be excited about or working on yeah but i mean we're small you know we're real human beings we're not a massive robotic factory we're hand making these and it takes time there's two of you right Yes. It's just you and I won't you I won't say the name on the camera, but it's you and I th who I think it is, yeah. right? Okay. Uh, it's a good friend of mine. And then can I get a one percent sliver in there for helping you with your website? One thousand percent. I don't know. I mean so two point oh one people. More than honestly, so if you if you value like some of the help and some of the things that are hard, like you were a huge piece of help. I don't know, man. So that's I yeah. You're you're one of my closest friends, so I'm happy to help, man. So that's, I'm so, I'm very proud of you and this product and what you're doing in the industry. I think it's awesome. Likewise. Yeah. And uh, like I said, we're going to keep trying to target things that make it better for everyone. Like the name Hero Mod, for example, right? Yeah. You know, a hero could be a military member, you know, being a hero for our country, law enforcement, being a hero for a family when mm -hmm. it comes to their need or the father, yeah. you know, like your dad could be your hero or anybody could be your hero. Yeah. Technically, well, we're going to give us equipment to those people. You know, we try to aim it towards people with good intentions and stuff you know so uh yeah we'll help make things for those heroes we all have so yeah kind of like you oh <laughs> don't you're making me blood you're my hero jesus yeah uh so available now on heromod.com and then we have for our viewers we have a discount code we do we have a memorial discount code what what is that discount code because we didn't talk about it before we said let's make this. something up hmm. delta no what about bsc10 there you go BSC 10. There we go. So our viewers right now, go to HeroMod.com, save 10%, right? 10% on your order using code BSC 10. Yeah. Bravo, Sarah, Charlie, one, zero. Big up. Because I have a tendency to slur on these videos. But yeah, uh, everybody have a safe and fun Memorial Day. I hope we did. And uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Mark from Delta 34. I'm Zach. We'll catch you next time.